developed and easy to demonstrate with a little practice. You do not have to change who you are to be an effective communicator. It's not about your personality, it's not about your style, it's not about your charisma or your sex appeal or whatever it is you got, it's not about that. It's a process and any one of us can apply the process to be an effective communicator. So the thing I want you to hear real early this morning is you don't have to change who you are. You can be soft-spoken or outspoken. You can be a little bit shy or you can be outgoing. It doesn't matter. If you follow the process, I'm going to share with you later on, the analogy I use is like, it's like baking a cake. We, uh, we may all bake the cake. They may all, not all be identical. But if we follow the recipe, all the cakes will what? They'll be okay. They'll be okay. But if you leave out a key ingredient, where's my, I thought I saw someone with the, with the uh, New Orleans jacket on. I did. You did. I tried to make gumbo one time. I left out the roux. It didn't taste right. <laughs> it's not gumbo. The filet, you know, you got to, you leave out a key ingredient, it's not effective. And I'm not a four-star chef. I'm not an emerald. I like to cook. I like to barbecue. But if you leave out something critical, you don't end up with the same outcome. That's what I want you to think about communication from now on. It's not a talent. And, yes, some of you have just been blessed with talent. But just because you're not a loud, outspoken person doesn't mean you're not effective when it comes to communication. 